This video is brought to you by Tom's Diecast Kits and Collectibles. So I actually started on a new project and I was painting it, but I still needed to mask off a lot more and the paint needed a bit more time to dry before I could safely do that. So I set that aside to dry and that will be uploaded next week. So in the meantime, I took out a project I started a week ago and finished that one off. The second installment of the Car Trek series is the Aston Martin from Tavarish. This is also another YouTuber, just like the yellow Ferrari 360 I just did. I'm building his one as well. Feel free to check out his channel and also the series on that channel. I think it's a really cool series and I really enjoyed watching it. So I just stripped the model, removed all of the plastic parts and am now stripping off the paint. After the paint stripper had done its job, I moved it to the sink, cleaned it off with some water, and then removed all of the remaining stuff from all of the panel lines, and also just deepened them a bit with a panel line engraver. The casting of this model was quite rough, it's also a quite cheap model itself, so that's not that big of a surprise, so I had to remove a couple of the mold lines. These were firstly marked off with a permanent marker to show me a bit better where they are and also show along the way when they are removed during the sanding process. The side mirrors were also molded in one piece with the body and they could use a bit more detail and the detail that I added was using a saw blade to cut out a small piece between the uh, window trim and the mirror itself just to make it look a bit more like the ones on the actual car. After a good hour of sanding away all of those mold lines, I took out some 400 grit and sanded the rest of the body in order to prepare it for some primer. I'm using some Tamiya Gray Surface Primer as this is a really good primer and it also works really well on metal surfaces. So I sprayed a couple light coats, letting it dry in between of course, and then afterwards letting it sit for about 30 minutes before I moved on to spraying on the color. Now the car Freddy was driving in the series is a metallic black, of course, from Aston Martin. I didn't have that in stock, so I just took out the closest thing I did have, which was a metallic pearl black from Audi. I applied about two or three more coats of the black until I was satisfied with the way that it went on and looked before moving on to adding a couple more coats of diamond clear to give it a super nice and glossy finish.
Once the first coat was applied, I let it sit for about 5 minutes and applied two more coats. I let that dry for a couple days before moving on to the next step, and that is polishing. As you can see, there is a small bit of texture, not really that big of a deal. And just to give it a bit more shine, I'm using a rotary polishing tool and the foam polishing set, which is available on toms.nl. The small trim piece around the side windows is actually gloss black and not metallic black, so that of course needed to be painted. I just took out a small brush and some gloss black and applied it by hand. A couple of other pieces on the exterior, like the side mirrors and some of the side molding, needed to be in a carbon fiber texture. Now I didn't have any carbon fiber decals in this scale, so I just took out some gunmetal paints to simulate that. The interior on this one is pretty simple as it's pretty much one big piece. I primed it first and then painted it all in a matte black to give it a nice even finish all over. I did the same for the wheels. Once the wheels were painted black and dry, I moved on to giving them a coat of satin clear just to give them a little bit more sheen and not look exactly the same as the tires. The windows on this one were actually tinted on the rear and on the side, so I added a couple layers of smoke to simulate that tinted effect. With this model being so cheap, it doesn't even have disc brake detail at all. So I took out a piece of plastic, cut out a couple of holes with a hole punch to simulate some discs, added a flat piece of styrene to it, cut that to shape, filed it a bit, and then had some disc brakes. Now they are not perfect of course, but it's a lot better than they were, as there simply weren't any. Once all of that was done, I could move on to painting the calipers and also the discs, first starting off with some red for the calipers and then some gunmetal for the carbon ceramic discs. And while I was at it, I painted the center console of the dashboard in that same gunmetal to again simulate that carbon fiber look. The exterior has the molded in headlights and taillights and that needed a bit of detail as well. So I took out some silver and started applying that on those areas. The front grille on the model is not the one that Freddy has on his car, his is the facelifted version, so I sanded it smooth and added a couple of slats to simulate his. It's not exact, but it looks a lot better than it was and is a bit better of a match to his one. With most of the modifications and the painting now done, I could move on to do some assembly.
The taillight lenses that came with the model were clear and the ones on Tavares' car are red. So I took out a permanent red marker and made that clear into a clear red. A couple small details were added to the wheels like a little bit of a logo or something that looks like it, pretty much just a silver stripe and of course some of the lug nuts painted with a bit of silver too. And with that the second car of the series is now finished. I really enjoy these as I mentioned the last time and I will be doing a lot more. I have ordered a Lamborghini Gallardo Spider to simulate Ed's actual Vin Wiki car and that is in the post, so that will arrive in a couple of weeks, hopefully. Once that is completed, I of course will make the same style video as I did of this one, and in the meantime, I will be getting back to the regular schedule of scale modeling. 